Hello, YouTube land, and welcome back to the Chaos Asylum. I'm your host, Alex Payne, and today is Monday Night Raw. We kick off Monday Night Raw with Roman Reigns coming down the ramp. Pissed off as a mother trucker. About to talk, Stephanie McMahon comes out. She starts talking, says, Roman, I know what you're going to do, da 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 She doesn't even get to get a word out, let's be honest. Mick Foley comes out. And, and so they all get in the ring. They start talking to Roman Reigns, and Mick Foley pretty much just says, I'm tired of everybody not taking me serious. Uh, like, I'm only a man of my own word. And, and I've had so many opportunities in the WWE. What if I get fired? And then Stephanie's like, you're not going to get fired. He's like, what if? Steph, what if? Holy Foley goes down the drain. I lose my job. Yeah, he's like, so I'm taking control of Raw. He's like, you know what, forget this. He's like, Roman Reigns, you'll get another opportunity at the WWE Universal Champion, Seth Rollins. I mean, not Seth Rollins, sorry. Kevin Owens. Tonight, inside a steel cage match, non-title match. So then, you know, Kevin Owens came out. He freaked out like normal. What are you doing, Foley? This is some kind of joke. Ha ha ha, funny. Huh? And then, pretty much, he says, well... Now that we know what our main event is, let's start the show. So then it started off pretty much with Seth Rollins. And his face, so we don't know who he's facing, comes back from a commercial break. And then Stephanie's like, I don't know what you're doing, Mick. He's, she's like, are you kidding me? You're putting him, our WWE Universal Champion, in a steel cage match six days before our pay-per-view. What are you doing? He's, she's, he's like, just trust me, just trust me. Rusev comes out of nowhere. He's like, Mick Foley, what are you doing? You know I'm supposed to celebrate my beautiful wife over here with her re new release video. I'm like, okay. He's like, you, should, you knew you shouldn't interfere in the match last week. You knew that too. I don't care what you say, Mick Foley. The Holy Foley family is stupid. You all argue. And so pretty much it's Seth Rollins versus Rusev Potria, Rusev Gatra. Uh, the United States Champion. And Roman Reigns gets a United States Championship match again against Rusev. Let's see what happens. So, the Seth Rollins Rusev match was pretty decent. It was really good. Well, it started off with like Seth just beating down on uh, Rusev for a while. And then Rusev came back and did a couple moves. And then, you know, it's just back and forth, back and forth. Pretty much the way it, that what happened, they got thrown outside the ring. Rusev. Uh, grabbed a hold of Seth and slammed his back against the steel post. Working on his back, you know, for that accolade. Uh, Seth did a couple cool moves. His uh, flying knee off the top rope. He tried to go for a frog splash. Uh, they both rolled outside the ring. Went up the rampway. Got a double count out, which was stupid. On a great match. Come on. That's, uh oh, that's irritating. Um, and then Rusev tried beating the crap out of him and put him through the announcer tape rope on stage. Nope, Seth Rollins reverses uh, and gets him, and then he pretty much puts him on, uh, he, like, knees him in the spine, uh, so he falls off the stage. Then Seth gets up on the announce table and cross bodies. Cross bodies Rusev. Rusev's laid out, and, and Seth's all like, yeah! Goes to the backstage. There's Dana, Brooke, and Charlotte, and they were showing Mick Foley on the TV that there was a double pin in the triple threat match last week for the number one contendership for the WWE Women's Championship on Raw. Um, and whatnot. So then Mick Foley's like, yo, you're right. So you know what? At Clash of Champions, since, you know, if you're saying uh, Sasha Banks is not the number one contender, we'll just have Bailey and Sasha versus Charlotte. In a triple threat match for the women's championship, and then Charlotte like was like, Ooh! and then pushes Dana, and Dana's like, "The fuck did I do, bitch?" Commercial break. Let's see what happens next. So we come back, and it's Braun Strowman against Sin Cara. So Sin Cara, uh, uh, you know, is doing some power moves. Uh, not Sin Cara, but you know, Braun Strowman's doing his power moves. Sin Cara's moving out of the way, kicks and blows and whatever. Does a diving move outside this. To Braun Strowman gets back in the ring, doesn't move, so it gets caught. Power slam. One, two, three. Braun Strowman wins. We go to the back and see the legit boss, Sasha Banks, stretching it out, stretching it out, Ugh, stretching out. And then, 
What happens is... What happens is... Here comes Bailey! Hey, we want some Bailey! Hey, we want some Bailey! Yeah! So she could they come over there and talk about, well, that was NXT and that's back in the day. We made history there. But this is a new era. This is Monday Night Raw. <clears throat> no, I won that match. No, I won that match. Whatever, who cares? So then, Bailey's like, we'll think about it this way. It's a triple threat match. One of us is going to walk out with becoming the new women's champion. Yeah! And I'm assuming it's going to be a tag match. It's going to be Bailey and Sasha Banks versus Charlotte and maybe Dana Brooke. Let's find out. So, the match between... Uh, I was right about the tag match. It was Sasha Banks and Bailey versus Charlotte and Dana Brooke. Now, Sasha and Dana were getting beat the crap out of. Went to commercial break. They finally came... They finally came in, did this, did that. They did some cool moves and whatnot. Bailey was on fire. About to do the Bailey to belly. And then it comes in. Nope. Boom. Hits the one thing. She tries to get in. Bailey knocks her out. Uh, Sasha Banks on the outside. Beating the crap out of Dana. Boom. Big boot. One, two, three. Sasha and Dana win the match. And then there was, uh, th uh, it went to the back and it like, showed Stephanie's door. And it said Stephanie McMahon. And then it showed Seth Rollins. And then he went into the door and closed it. So, we come back. And blah, 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 blah. Stephanie and Seth Rollins is in the back talking. And they're talking about, you know, why. He wants to know why Triple H did what he did to, to Seth Rollins. And then Stephanie's like, you know what? Maybe Heaven always has a point. You, you came back, you lost two times. Once, you lost the world title to Dean Ambrose to go to SmackDown. You lost against Finn Balor. Maybe Triple H is his... In since he chose you, maybe he's just tired of like dragging around the dead weight, pretty much. So you pick Kevin Owens. That's a possibility. And then he's like, well, you know what? At Night of Champions, Clash of Champions, whatever. I want to win the Universal Championship. Hold it over my head. And then, you know what? I'm going to make your guys' not a freaking thing a living nightmare. So then we go out to the ring. And, uh, we see that Bo Dallas is facing off against another guy that's a nobody. And he beats the living shit out of him. He's cutting promos like he's part of the Wyatt family. And he just beats the living shit out of this guy. This guy gets one move in, rolls up, one, two, kicks out. Uh, then Bo hits his finishing move. One, two, three. Bo Dallas wins. So, pretty much what happened in the next match was the best of seven against Sheamus and Cesaro. So, what happened was Sheamus was beating the crap out of Cesaro. Cesaro came back. And then, pretty much again, Sheamus was working on Cesaro's back. He did the white noise. One, two, kick out. Did this one's move where he went like this and shabam! One, two, kick out. He even did the white noise on the outside, onto the apron, kicked out. He tried cheating, Sheamus did, and put his feet on ropes. We got a two count. Ruff's team was like, no, no, I've seen that. No, no, no. And then out of nowhere, Sheamus tries for a broke kick. Goes over the top rope. He tries to come over. Gets uppercutted. Bam. Oh, what's he called? The neutralizer. One, two, three. Cesaro ties it up. Three to three. And then we'll... The tiebreaker will be at Clash of Champions. So we go backstage. Mick Foley is talking about how he's going to be going out there and talking about the cruiserweight division. And then Chris Jericho comes in. And he's like, hey, Foley, what's up, man? I'll tell you what. I know you haven't liked me forever. He's like, that's not true. That's not true. I suggested you to Paul Heyman. So I, haven't like, I don't like you now. Saying forever is a little redundant. And he started listing off things that, like, you know, he didn't like about Foley and whatnot. And Foley's like, he's like, I'm not the one that looks weird dressing up like whatever. He's like, he's like, yeah, but they like it in whatever state. And then Foley comes back, he's like, that might be true. But they don't like it here. Right here. In Memphis, Tennessee. And then Jericho said he's going to go out and tell everybody about the list of Jericho. So Chris Jericho comes out. And uh, he starts so airing the grief and it's about uh, his list of Jericho. So the big Kaz and Enzo comes out. Then the Shining Stars come out. 
Then the New Day comes out. Then Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson come out. And then Sami Zayn comes out. And all just ends up in a freaking big ass brawl. And everybody's beating the shit out of each other. So there we go. So it ended up being a big tag team match. The New Day. And Zone Kaz. <clears throat> and Sami Zayn taking on Chris Jericho. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. Oh, God. And, uh, the, not the last motor doors, but they were them! Uh, the Shining Stars. Uh, and, and this match went back and forth. They were doing all different kinds of moves. The way this match ended, everybody was hitting their finishing move left and right. Uh, Sami Zayn hit the Hulanuva kick. On, uh, I think Primo, and then pretty much tagged in it and zone cast. Boom, the bada boom shakalaka. One, two, three. Enzo Kaz, the new day, and Sami Zayn win the match. And up next is the WWE Cruiserweights exclusively to Monday Night Raw. My question to you guys is what does SmackDown got to do to? to Counteract the cruiserweight division since it's only exclusively to Raw. Leave it in the comments below. So we come back and Mick Foley is in the ring talking about the cruiserweights being exclusively to Monday Night Raw. He introduces four guys. I can't remember the name. Uh, T.J. Parker is the new WWE cruiserweight champion. And he will be defending his title at Clash of Champions. And the four guys that... Mick Foley introduced is going to be in a fatal four way. And whoever wins this match will challenge TJ Parker for the Cruiserweight Championship. The only one I really know that's in this match is D. Brian Kendrick. So let's see who wins. So the fatal four way happens. There's so many sick moves that are happening left and right, over the top rope, sick with spinny backbreakers and spinning Hurricanrana DDTs and off the top rope, sick moves. This move, pretty much, this ended with like this one guy going super crazy and just spun someone in midair and BAM! Backstabbered him. And then I guess Brian Kendrick came up with this new submission move. It's where he flips, he grabs him by the neck, flips him over, and he just holds onto it like this with two hands. And he calls the captain's hook and he pulls back on it. And so Brian Kendrick becomes the number one contender. For the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. So now it's going to be TJ Parker taking on Brian Kendrick at Clash of Champions for the Cruiserweight Championship. Next up, the main event. The WWE Universal Champion Kevin Owens taking on the Roman Empire. Roman Reigns inside a steel cage. Yeah. Man, what the hell just happened? I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. Roman Reigns and... The WWE Universal Champion Kevin Owens and inside a steel cage match. This match went left and right, up and down, side to side, pillar to post. Throwing each other into the steel cage. Roman just like legit splashing them into the cage. Uh, uh, Roman doing a Superman punch uh, out of a pop up power bomb. Roman Reigns doing another Superman punch. On the top rope when they're both were trying to, whatever. Uh, then he, then Roman Reigns actually got popped up, power bombed, kicked out on two. Uh, they both did something to each other. Kevin Owens asked for the door to be open. Roman just started climbing the steel cage, and what happened? What happened? Roman hits the floor first. Who comes out? So Ro Roman Reigns wins the match. Rusev comes out with the chain. Roman's beating the crap out of Rusev. And then out of nowhere, they get back around the cage where the door is. And uh, Kevin Owens swings the door open and busts Roman right in the face. So then they throw him in and beat their living shit out of him. Uh, you know, boom, 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 boom. The accolade gets left on. Who comes out? Seth Rollins comes out. And, and Kevin Owens is like, oh, the door's locked, the door's locked. He's like, Screw it. Jumps up on the cage, climbs up, uh, punches Seth Rollins a couple times, he falls over. Rusev gets up there, he punches Ke uh, Rusev, kicks him off. Gets on the top of the steel cage. 
jumps off of the crossbody. Bam! He's holding his ribs. Roman Reigns in one corner. He is in the other corner. He's like, ah! And that's how we end Raw. So what do you think of Monday Night Raw? Did you like it? Did you think it sucked? Let me know in the comments below. Leave a comment. Hit the like button. And if you haven't done it already, smash that subscribe button. Later.